Yeah, he already locked in. Ooh. Feeling confident after those early games. Who was wrong? I won't message him. Oh, it doesn't show you he locked in for me. Oh, he's, he's he backed out. So we will run over the rules, guys. So this is no repeat leaders. This is a best of five. Voridus is auto banned, um, but there is no other leader bans. Giving the players full control over what they pick. Because we wanted the players to pick their best leaders to find out who is the best. We didn't want anyone banning and playing the man um, and basically banning the best player that the other person has uh, and then them losing the series. Fresh start. And we got Decimus right. versus Colony. In game Brand one. new series, same exact maps, other side of the bracket here. Rock Generation, I've not watched them all day. I'm curious to see what his clicks are going to be like. We've seen him struggle against EOD here and there in past series. I mean, he the four owed EOD the. last series these guys played so it's pretty huge victory for him yeah Decimus for call is gonna be a ma great matchup here going down on this map again this is some top tier gameplay if you're gonna make a mistake it's going to be capitalized on your opponent they are smart enough to know when to push not to push when to chain stuns and when to pick up your minis and when to resign <laughs> definitely when to resign we've seen that a lot in the last series at least Saved a lot of time, actually, uh, but some very good games, a very good series from Mike and Hippie. And thank you very much, Mike, for playing the tournament. Now we got chopper openers from both players here. See so game number one in the opposite quarterfinals. UD playing nice and safe here, securing a lot of his uh, his his resources up front. Doesn't want to get challenged or challenged for any of these uh, oppositions resources here. He sent a chopper and his natural gas up front. He's got Skitterers in tow here. So now attached to the chopper and it looks like this was where he's going to overextend a little bit and get some information. Yeah, you got to get aggressive with a chopper skit. It gives you so much value for what it is. Pick off a couple of grunts. You can even fight another chopper um, and to do that we did get harvest, a triple harvester opener for EOD and Rock's going to lose out on his power here. Going to lose a grunt. Yeah, maybe it Maybe a pathing uh, issue there. Either way, that, that is so hard to deal with. Um, but he has opened up a triple supply pad. Gen 4th build, now securing some minis here. Uh, a little ahead of uh, EOD Spartan Zeb. Yeah, he's going to get that mini where the chopper is pathing to. He has a center tower up on the back, so he can pick up the back one. And he has a grunt positioned on the left. So he's not going to lose a mini to the uh, colony player here. Uh, it's really rough if you do lose a mini to a colony player, by the way. But Rock does now have two choppers out on the map. He's going to kill a grunt of his own. And I'm really surprised that Rock's going to opt in for choppers here. I mean, choppers versus choppers, or even choppers versus grunt mines. Uh, it's probably not the best against a, a colony player. Yeah, grunt mines do dominate, especially on a narrow map like this. So if EOD does see him going into uh, mass choppers, he could easily go grunt with grunt mine. But it looks like Rock is really confident in his micro here. He's really hunting down his, uh, this chopper with the skid on it. He's got two choppers inbound, in hot pursuit. Trying to pick this here. If we take a look back at EOD Spartan Seb's main here, he uh, still has one gen. Getting some, some harvesters on the backside there. And he's got a Rax on the side uh, mini there on the last mini pickup. Almost kills another grunt. Rock has now built all of his mini bases. Looks like it just. Harvester's going down on them, no production. Second gen coming up for EOD. Does have a raid camp as well with Goliaths coming out. So the chopper player gonna be working out for Rock here. Yeah, we haven't seen EOD scout either. He's just kind of blindly building things. He's kind of blindly doing things here. Um, and this is where you start to see the different caliber. When we watch Mike, we watch Army. You know, you've watched Vec, we've watched Hippie Knockout, Mike. We've seen a lot of fantastic gameplay here. You kind of start to see this its scale uh, as you see some new players on the southern side of the bracket head on here. There we go. We got four choppers marching up to the uh, up the ramp for EOD. You got to pick off a Goliath. 
the skitter here as well. He has to go grunt mine. He doesn't survive this unless he does. He's gonna put a skitter on the Goliath as well, which is kind of glitched on the ramp. That is unfortunate. The skitter is not shooting. It's glitched on the ramp. Uh, he's gonna die as well. Grunt's gonna get picked off as well. There is no grunt mine for EOD. Skitter's coming out. Grunt mine is queued. But he's going to be too late. He's going to lose a lot of grunts here. Yeah, and you should have queued this up a while, or at least preemptively try to get it earlier when you saw the two choppers chasing your chopper. Vortex coming down on the sky. <laughs> he really skit. wants that shop skit dead. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> yep. A full leader power on it. Well, we got grunt scarers now. A nice siphon actually going down onto the, uh, the choppers there. Yeah, this is giving straight positioning Scrunts. to keep the, the numbers low. This what are they is called? Scrunts. Scrunts Skitter coming out. Runs. Yeah, Scrunts coming out. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. See if we see a Rax on the back end here. We can do any more harvester. damage. Second gen Scrunts. set for Rock on the back mini Augmented. there. Around the corner from T2. He's going to keep these number populations down nice. He just rammed the gen, unfortunate for him. Yeah, I saw that building. No grunt mine? It's, it's up. He's just not throwing so, them. Yeah, he's just not throwing them. Oh, one grunt mine almost takes down three choppers there. And this is where it changes around. If he had this two minutes earlier, like yep. he should have done, this won't be happening right now. He lost so many grunts to that. Uh, but now the yep. chopper play isn't going to work. But Rocky's going to take two now, while EOD is still uh, 250 power away. Yeah, and if he would have done this, like you said, two minutes earlier, he would have been able to take the map control. He would have at least been working on two, three nodes by now. None of that uh, oppression from the choppers would have happened. And you knew exactly what was coming when you saw those two choppers uh, posture up to try to kill your scop chop skit, which you wasted a vortex on. Gonna upgrade that second generator. Still 300 power off from T2. He's gonna posture up to take these nodes, get some map control back. Uh, but we're seeing, like you said, we're seeing Rock in T2, and we're probably gonna see these Rangers start pumping on out as he tries to gear up for his fourth point and try to get that balance siphon to kick in. Yeah, Rock in Tech 2 now. He has an Apex coming up. He has a raid camp, just a double raid camp actually. So we are seeing the Elite Ranger spam come out for him as the Decimus player. Here, you're gonna be picking up an Expo. Uh, that's going to delay his tech 2 even further, but with Grunt Mine, he should win the Grunt Fight in the middle here. Is 44 population for Rock, 60 for EOD, he can now queue up tech 2, has 2 power nerds to 2. Now we're queuing up tech 2, the expo's about to be built as well, so not looking in a bad spot, he's just going to be very behind on the rage account. Vortex Lightning is a backup for Rock Generation. Still grunts from all players here, Rock didn't go grunt mine though, EOD the only one to have grunt mine at this time. EOD going to be stealing another expo on Rock's side of the map. He has a great economy though. He's got the raid camp coming down now. Probably should have had an early raid camp up. Got a war council actually on the expo over here. Grunts on the high ground, putting in a bit of damage on the grunts that are passing. This might just be a distraction for EOD to get his Tech 2 army online. Rock's going to have to go over and deal with that expo, not let it build. But we do have Rangers in the middle dealing with the grunt mm. spam. Now, good Vortex coming down, but EOD trying to split. Going to get caught out with a lot of units there. And we do have three Rangers here to clean up. Five Rangers now to clean up. God, and that was such a textbook Vortex. Got him in the choke there, surrounded by counter units. Going to apply the debuff for the perfect counter units to be able to clean that up. We just watched... 30 population dwindled down for EOD Spartan 7. It's now 78 versus 34. He does have an expansion that just finished upgrading. He's got his uh, Hunter Captain coming on out. And Rock is just looking like he's in a great position here. Yeah, the, I mean, the third base. The fed I mean, fifth point here? Uh, Yeah, we're up to fifth. Jesus Christ, he's going to drop in this unit. Oh, wait. No, he's got to be fourth. How is he behind points no, here? No, he's fourth. There's no balance siphon. 
Okay. Yeah, but again, the correct engagement taken by Rock. Very, very textbook. Um, very excited to see how the series is going to unfold. But, you know, if Rock does move on and he starts playing some of these higher caliber players, that's the games that I want to see. Here's the Boundless Siphon now, 77 population. A beam going to be coming down as well. Good split by EOD. Going to lose the Skitter Ranger, but that is about it. Got two of them. EOD's expert is upgraded. It has a shield on it. The Hunter Captain's on his way out, getting upgraded as well. Um, he he kind of put himself back by spending all that money on the third base on Rock's side, uh, which was easily taken down. And now Rock's still sitting at 80 population. 80 population pushing up to the main base of EOD right now. Only Rangers, though. Getting an infantry upgrade as well. I think this is totally fine. I think uh, I think if he just continues to do this and you know if he does lose some population, like I said, he's rounding that fifth point there. It's about a third way there, uh, but this is going to dwindle down Seb's Seb's uh, population here. He's sitting right in front of a production building. He's got to bait him up this ramp eventually. Did burn a vortex in a beam already, so that's back on the timer here. Couple of jump out brutes for the base damage, jumping onto the main base now. They have balanced siphon, so they're very strong. Um, EOD gonna leave his main base, but the looks of things. The hunter captain actually walking away. Yeah, but Rockjen has got to worry about this this drop that's on the back end here. That's probably gonna sack his expansion. There goes the top. <laughs> These are the cheeky little plays here. Yeah, that expansion is going down in the Goliath job, but Rock does have all of the power nerds. 72 population versus 49. Hunter's captain's about halfway halfway down there. He's going to tuck underneath the shield. Rock's going to push back up onto the main. Shield generator, 42 seconds out. No, on the main, Beauty Spartan Seb. He has Vortex. Vortex. He has Siphon on the jump out brutes. We've got Skitterers on the Marauders now. Uh, and Rock is getting infantry upgrade level 2. Yeah, those are massive health bars, and those are a massive amount of damage that these counter units are going to provide. Along with the Brutes as well, they're going to do a lot of base damage. Hunter in the mix, 79 population. Rock trying to clear out a little bit of population. Like I said, he's rounding this fifth point. Round the corner from it. Yeah, That's the density drop is going to be tough. tough. Yeah, yep. he won't have enough to get the the dev host. Um, and his, his main's getting stripped, he can't, he can't defend it. Yeah, this is just great gameplay out of Rock here. It was a little, it was a little obvious. Very textbook. But again, UD is going to fall for it. Now what does EOD do now? He's got Goliaths on the main base of Rock. Uh, uh, might be able to drop the shield. Saving up for got, Death Hurst. He's got to ask Mike how he can uh, auto-resign on the Xbox. That's what he needs <laughs> to do. I mean, <clears throat> Rock's picking up a base on his side just in case for the trade. EOD has the base damage. Uh, the Rangers are back there now dealing with the Goliaths. Yeah, he's, he's setting him for this dev host, and that's what he's going to try to hold with. Yeah, he's left the jump back brutes, just stripping his main base now. Too many Rangers, nothing you can do to pick it off. The Vortex is going down on the main base, he's going to try and man it down with three jump back brutes. The heal going to be going down on the main base now. Eody almost has enough for dev host, he's about 100 power away. Yeah, he did, did manage to grab a couple of nodes underneath Rock's nose there. He has an army of Skitterers ready to attach to the Devastating Host. Uh, Rock only just getting his expert up. The Warlord coming out. Shield on the main base. And here is the Devastating Host. Now the army is backing off to the mini bases. Popped himself back up to 73 population. His bank is completely gone, but let's see if he can uh, make a play here. Has to do some. His base just got stripped. His economy is uh, pretty hurt. After uh, losing his gens, dropping the dev host, now losing the mini bases. Rock's got to be careful. He's got to preserve some of these counter units as well. He's got his expansion online. Looks like he's working on his warlord. Three seconds out. He's taking the the uh, the nodes back here. But these are some beefy units out of that drop. He's gonna save that harvester by the looks of things. Harvest is going to be seven. He loses the one at the back. Uh, EOD sitting on an expo all this time though. That has helped him. Uh, just needs needs the nerds back. Um, Rock actually has two shield gens on his main base. Yeah, he is not taking a chance with those Goliaths on those backdoor plays that EOD's gotten away with. Expo is going to be denied. The, that is the third base of Rock denied by the Locust there. Fair generator getting rebuilt for EOD on the main base. Still no shield. Yeah, 
Got to play a little bit more defense. Roxas has done a great job with his map control, but he's got to figure out how to close out now. Now that that uh, fifth point has been set down from the Hunter Captain, uh, as we work on sixth point here, he's got to get the perfect composition to be able to kill the leader, kill the units, uh, and to bound on up and have enough base damage to crack one of these shields. Yeah, I mean, Rock's still got the Destiny Drop in the bag. He's about to get Boundless Fury as well. He has a Vortex, he has a Beam. He has all the tools to deal with everything EOD has. 100%. And so does, I mean, likewise, so does uh, EOD. He's got a Hunter Captain, he's got Teleport, got Hunter Brand. He just used the heal, it's back on a timer. Um, he's just got to play this smart. He's been playing enough defense to keep himself alive. He's got his gens back on the field. Uh, he's lost the map control, obviously. Uh, but, you know, this can be a slow push out. Speaking of a couple of rangers trying to run around the map, but the Hunter Captain is slow. Rock still has map control. Four pounders to one. Picking up a third base on the left as well. And he's got units pushing down the middle with Boundless Fury, Boundless Siphon. The Warlord looks like he's tech two. Could have a good oh, slam here. We've got the Vortex. Cannot lose these units. He needs to baby these units. Oh, UD is already lost in one tank. He's that's his muscle. He's about to lose the next tank. Great micro out of rock. Split off enough hunters to be able to grab that. And that's what he wanted right there. Yeah, that's his dev host gone as well. Yep. He desperately needed to keep those rifts alive. 100%. That was his muscle. But great job out of rock. Microing, pulling those and splitting off his hunters. A lot of hunters. The shield coming up on the main base for EOD. Rock now with four bases secured. Four power nodes secured. 74 population and a healthy economy. And EOD is just right there too, but he's got to preserve these units. He's throwing them a couple away and Rock's got to make some decisions here. Again, the base damage is the biggest issue hiding underneath the shield. Rock has spent all of his money. He's floating a lot of blue here. He's got to posture up for T3 and probably uh, take that engagement that he wants. Rock, and that's what the commendable thing I gotta to give to Rock every time I watch him play. He never wastes time. He's always up front. He's always trying to dwindle your numbers down. Take some great engagements. He's not sitting anywhere. He's always moving around, splitting off. Uh, that's probably why he gets caught off guard with some of these cheeky play that EOD does. Uh, but I love watching his gameplay as he he's purposely trying to keep his numbers down. Yeah, he's always on the aggressive. Always splitting everywhere. We've got another Goliath chop on the expert of Rock Generation. Yeah, do you maybe playing for like the colony tell? That's the best he can do. He's got the council at home. He's trying to save up for it. Just yeah, got the best he can do right, right now. now. The Goliaths get slammed and stunned by the Warlord, uh, so they will not do any more damage to that base. But Hunter's Brand goes down onto the base, and it is enough to take it down. Don't know if that was worth it. Everything's worth it. <laughs> See another generator being set. So fourth generator. He's desperately trying to get these reinforcements, improve time, and to kill his scarab. It's a lot of time ticking. We See have how rock. Takes we have five banshees queued up on an apex by rock. The expo is rock uh, locked. We have three apexes up, and he's swapping into banshees. Right now, his army composition is all hunters and grunts. Right. So that's gonna. That's going to induce him to opt in for Rangers, but he's not necessarily a, an average player like this. He doesn't like straight counter units. He loves his blister backs. Do you see one set down there? Yeah, he's tech free now. He's getting a cloaking gen up. Rock just queued up tech free now, um, but there is a lot of Banshees queued in that expo of his. And for everything that Seb wants to do, he need, probably needs another four minutes here. He's now re uh, researching reinforcements 10 seconds out. For that to finish up, he's got to lose some population to be able to queue up that scarab, and he needs time to be able to uh, save up for it as well. <laughs> scarab? There's Desi? <laughs> I don't know, he might be saving up for another dev host here, but he's already lost two tanks out of that muscle. The only thing he's left with is a couple of the counter units, but again, Rock is sitting at front door with hunters, so it would be hunters versus hunters. Yeah, and I mean, EOD needs Reavers right now, but he can't get out on the map to scout. It's going to be rough. Yeah, UD is going straight into his 2v2 customs here, just kind of turtling, just kind of chilling. Um, so hopefully Rock's, he's trying to harass a little bit with the rest of his grunts. 
He's Nelson, going into yeah. a lot of blister backs. This is definitely going to be a colony turtle. Uh, the hunters are now about to be sacked onto the main base. We do have two Reavers and one is Vet 2 with a skitter on from EOD. And in the dev Hurst will be another one. Yeah, but EOD has no idea that these banshees are coming. Leader power. No idea. And Rock is not unlocking yet. He's getting air yeah. grade level 3 right now. And that is when he's probably going to go for, in for the kill, in for the jugular. But he needs to tech as well. He needs to tech, and he's now increasing his reinforcements, probably get a couple of his units up. Uh, probably needs a reaver or two on the field. He's going to blister back over extend here. He's not going to get the information that he wants. Oh, no. He on the opposite. He's going to lose his reavers to these two hunters. A vet two reaver with a skit, and a normal reaver with a skit. He, he desperately needs them. He's just going to lose them. The back over there. Goliath drop on the Expo of Rocket again. This one has no shield. Also got a blister back here. And these have come out fire. But look at this army of Banshees now. Unleashed <laughs> from the Expo. Just, just needs the, uh, uh, the conga line. A couple engineers in tow here. Four of them to be precise. He would have got that base too if uh, it wasn't for those pesky Banshees. But nonetheless... Now EOD is freaking out. He completely sacked his raid camp, switched them on over to uh, some foundries here. And Rock's going to push on up with this 120 population of Banshees, Hunters, um, and a few Reavers. Only one Ranger, though, for the Detect. Banshees, sorry. The Rangers are coming on out of the Apex right now. They're soaring on over. The shield has been dropped. Devhost is at the back. Uh, Vortex is actually going down onto the main base. He's going to try and main the base down. Oh, you're going to see a late heal coming out of Seb. Yep, there we go. Hunter's brand kind of whiffed it. Looks like he was going for the Warlord with that, but completely missed all the Hunters at least. The base falls. Set down to one base now. Brock only lost six population out of that. He still has, again, all the tools in pocket to be able to end this. He's got the uh, the Hunter Captain here in a mix. Got it nice and crowded. Beam level two coming down on it. Probably going to see a nice siphon kick in here. There's the Desi drop. And that is just way too much units. So oppressive. Finally going to see him tap on out. That probably should have happened about 15 minutes ago. The game number one is even handed over to Rock as we head on over to the next map, which is going to end up being Frontier. Nice small map, a lot of aggression, not so much turtling. Bedrock can swing either way. It's either a lot of aggression or it's a lot of defense. And obviously we saw... A lot of defense out of the colony player who couldn't pull it out against Desi. Yeah, like you said, he should have resigned a long time ago. Um, but nonetheless, we'll be going into game number two. Oh, that's a good thing, actually. I did forget the player cards. Hmm. All you do have player cards. I do. do you have Mike's player card? Nah. Can we get an RIP beneath his player card? Where's Rock's gone? <laughs> Rock has a player card? I need to turn on the stream. There we go. <laughs> Rock has a play card. Uh... <laughs> All right, game number two, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys are enjoying the content, again, this is the other side of the bracket quarterfinals: Xbox player versus PC. Rock Generation versus EOD. Best of five series. No Vortis. No repeats. Uh, basically the only rules that we have going on here set maps now that we are in the final of the bracket we had randomized maps before again both these players on the edge here as they face off on in the quarterfinals rock is now up one to zero uh, and a commanding and a commanding lead and a commanding game that he had going on there again rock opting in for colony this time they're both players switching leaders yeah this time and, uh, the swap in we're getting Colony versus Decimus on Frontier. Much better map for Colony, in my opinion, compared to Bedrock. Well, let's see if uh, Seb can execute correctly as you watch uh, Rock open up a supply, supply, and a chopper. Looks like he's going to get a little aggressive here. He's got a forward rally point on Seb's uh, natural yellow there. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, EOD is going to be opening up chopper as well, but Decimus chopper nowhere near as good as the chopper skit unless you manage to hit it with a vortex. And the healing spires um, are very good on this map as well. Uh, we're going to go for a mini steal, but there is a grunt there waiting for that to happen. He should be able to pick that up. If he's watching, though, it's going to be close. EOD is going to pick it up. 
And here is the chopper skip. Or the chopper at yeah. least skip us out. Rock going in for that Marty Bard uh, play here, trying to get that nice cheeky steal there. To pump some chop skits with some goalies and try to end this game early on. Seeing a triple harvester for Rock Generation. Yeah, he has to with the skitter and chopper up and it just take you back a lot. And uh, obviously, he's picked up that mini in the middle as well. But EOD does have grunts on the side power and a rally point on the other power. What the fuck is that picture of Rock? <laughs> God, dude. The, uh, the chopper skit uh, taking down two grunts. <laughs> In the middle here. Should be able to take down this chopper as well. Yeah, D uh, actually putting himself in a really bad spot now. <laughs> God, that made me laugh. <laughs> These cards on the screen. And there you have it. Game number two goes to Rock Chan. <laughs> we are speeding through here. It's now 2 0. Marty Vard taking a nice win there. Doing a great job. <laughs> One minute, 49. The fastest win of the tournament. EOD 2-0 down. EOD on the on the brink here, and he has already messaged me saying, Too laggy. Too laggy. Okay. <laughs> Too laggy. We're now heading over to a vault. A nice big map for some defense. What do I tell him? Wait, so the first game wasn't too laggy because he did okay, but then because he got dominated there, uh, it was too laggy. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell him. I just work here, bro. I don't know, man. <clears throat> Boobs, thank you for the one bit. Let's get EOD and Rock back up on the screen. Rock completely <laughs> dominating EOD there. You had like 70 cards up, bro. Yeah, I accidentally clicked the show all button. <laughs> But no wonder your uh, CPU lags sometimes, man. You got so many fucking browser sources. He's putting in the Twitch chat, too laggy, can't play. GG, save me some time. He will join Mike Beast on his in fifth, sixth. Actually, he would get sixth, right? Because he's had more losses. Um, I don't think we really need to place fifth and sixth. There's, there's not a loser's one anyway. Um, okay, guys, EOD gives up. He's out of the tournament. GGs. Woo! Big boy time, baby.